Hello everyone, it's Roid Man. Welcome back to Dark Cloud. Last time, we entered the Sun and Moon Temple and got some more stuff for Atla, while Theo is still trying to cheer up Angaga. And now this time, we're still going back into the Sun and Moon Temple. And we got eight Atla this time, so we should be getting a lot done here. But that doesn't mean that we are given an easy floor. Okay, so let's see what we got here and... Oh! Have they always been...? Okay, I'm gonna go this way first. Open this up. Prisoner cabin. Okay, this guy. Oh, nope, not today. Yeah, you're not getting me with that fire. Okay, yeah, I gotta be very careful with Mr. Blaze because I can't use Ruby on that. The reason I can't use Ruby is because Mr. Blaze likes to bet defend odds and ends. Okay. You know, I swear I saw some sort of enemy going inventory my way. Free. Oh, it's just a bomb guy. Let's get Goro out here. Can you stop dodging me? That would be nice. And that's going to do some explosion damage to Goro. We're okay with that for right now. Okay, I'm going to collect the Atla in here first because if any of these things are mimics, I'm getting the heck out of here. Nikara. Okay, so, first treasure chest. have to go back to that certain area. Okay. Thunder Gem! And last but not least, you are most definitely a... No, you're not. You're not a mimic. Anti-Goo Amulet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go this way first and see what in the world's waiting for us. Oh, not one of these guys. Okay. You know what? I'm going to try something here. What if we did this instead? You know... I just remember something. I wonder if we could do this. I forgot I had range with... Yeah. That, on the other hand, I can't do much about. This one, I legitimately have to... There we go. Yeah, that one I legitimately have to chase down. And I think that was every enemy in there. Unless these things want to do something to me. Stone key. Okay, so we do have a stone key for our door. Is that going to be the same door, though? Eh, petite fish. Huh, what do you know? They put the stone key right where I need it to be. Uh, let's see if, that, if there's anything even useful in this room. There is a water source, I might just grab that, but if there is nothing else... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna grab this. Yeah, gooey peach! Grab myself some water and then get the heck out! Because there is no reason for me to deal with three of them and one of them will have it. Game, you better give me the thing I'm looking for when I get down there. Running, 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 running. Okay, so we're on our on to the next path here. We do have an our water source, so I do have that to take advantage of. Ooh, or Atla. 
I will worry about whoever's walking towards me later. Well, we found Brooke, and... We found some stairways. Uh, let's recharge up on water while we figure out who the heck is walking towards me. So let's see here. Recharge on Goro's water and recharge on your water. Okay, who's walking towards me? Reveal yourself. Ah, Mr. Sam, Sam I am's brother, B Mr. Blair. Surprised you don't have like an explosion attack that goes on sooner. Oh well. And we have a key that Ruby has to deal with. Okay. Thank goodness it's holy. Well, no reason for this. I'm sorry. It... Oh, there's a treasure chest, like, right there. I'm trying to ignore Mr. Blair for the moment. And, of course, I take heavy damage on that. I think that's going to be the first time Ruby ever takes heavy damage. Wait, did I ever get hit by a cannon front? In the last one? I think I did. Okay, we need... Towing in the front lines. Okay, we're gonna grab this. Stairway. And what about this one? Hey, here comes a problem. Blair, you better have it. Blair does not have it. Okay, luckily I can switch to Ruby here. And hopefully we can take care of Bomberhead easier. I mean, if you want to just continuously do that, I'm okay with that. But uh, yeah, neither of them had it, so... Oh, there's still one more enemy here. Okay, come on. Give me the key. There we go. That's what we like to see. Now the... Oh, wow. How did I miss all those enemies? Okay. Well, you know, we have the King's Light. We have all the Atla. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, go further. And leave dungeon temporarily. And let's see what we could do with that 8 Atla. And Muska Laka Raka Laka Raka because it's either Muska Laka or Muska Raka. Okay, so. We do have an tree, so we can easily complete the oasis. I thought we had more, got an arch tree or something. Oh, wait, we did. Totem pole is finished. We do have the prisoner's cabin. I don't know where the heck I'm putting that. Okay, I'm gonna put... Right now, I'm just gonna put you right about here for right now. Figure... Somebody else's houses that I don't have. We can finish up Jibubu's house. Uh, who else do I have? I got Brooke, a one-eyed warrior with a strong heart, and Makari, homely but kind. Oh, this is Angaga's fiance. So, before I complete anything. That's a. Oh, hi, Brooke. Before I complete anything, I'm gonna go talk to the youngest of the sisters. That's why it won't let me land. Okay. 
Can I talk to the youngest of the sisters inside? That'd be great if she was inside right away. There we go. How do you do? Welcome to Muskalaka. I am Makara, the baby of the three sisters. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Oh, I see. You are Kaltoan. The warriors in this village look mean, but don't they? But actually, they are all nice people. Don't be afraid to get to know them. Any request for building Muskalaka? Drawing water is a very hard task. It would be wonderful if the house could be close to the oasis. What will happen when it's done? Please, come visit my house. I can cook for you. That is, if you want me to. What do you need for your home? Please keep the tradition on the pole guardian. I don't want to have anything bad happen to us. Did you really specify on what she needs for a house? Okay, so, mini totem pole. And that. And we might as well also get Jabubu's house completed as well. We do need to still talk to Brooke. So for right now, we could just put this here and this here. And we might as well complete our oasis. Okay, where is Brooke's house? Because I want to talk to Brooke before we do all these events. Are you Brooke? I'm Brooke. Nice to meet you. You are from Norun Village, right? I could easily... I could tell easily. Now that you are here, it means that something important is going to happen to in Muskalaka. Your goal must be the moon ship, right? Then you must infiltrate the Sun and Moon Temple as soon as possible. Best of luck to you, young warrior. How do you know this? Any request for rebuilding Muskalaka? Well, nothing really. I guess I should at least request the Pole Guardian. What will happen when it's done? Well, let me think about it. What do you need for your home? Could you attach a storage cabin? I have many things that I have to stash there. Okay. Three events in one day. And we still have people that we have to find. So let's start off with Brooke's house first. Aha! There you are. Today I have something I want to tell you. Come over here. When I first saw you, I knew right away who you were. You are the son of the warrior Ago. Aga. You know my father? Aga once came to Muskalaka. When I first saw him, I sensed something special in him. Aga was an amazing man. Something about him drew everyone to his side, just like you now. He fought well, especially with swords. He told me he was making a journey to find an amazing treasure. I don't know if he found it or not, but when he visited... Here again, he left the golem Gusoki here. You said you were on a quest to defeat the Dark Genie. Your father left you a tip for defeating him. I think Aga knew this day would come. The entire purpose of his journey could have been for exactly that. I really believe that's true. I have faith in you. You can do it. Yes, I really do believe you can defeat the Dark Genie. Here, take this. Attack plus three. And I do have a stock of some uh, items here. Not much, though. Take them on your adventure. Oh, but I have to charge you for them. I have to earn a living, you know. Take care. So we do now have our local store, so we no longer have to just constantly go back to Queens. But, you can buy bombs and cheese and, more importantly, premium chicken. That's also mighty healing if you ever need it. And there's also potato cakes if you ever want to go fishing. So, there is that there if you ever need it. Okay, let's get to Jabubu's house. And why am I playing? Why an event is playing? 
Why? I don't understand. But why? Why? Oh. Hi there. Looking at my house returned to normal, I just felt like screaming. Say, why don't you come in? I really appreciate this. Thanks to you. Now I can live my ordinary life again. This is to show my gratitude. Ooh, fruit of Eden. By the way, have you noticed something seems wrong here? The aesthetics, since they have here in Muscalaka, is not very good. That Angaga is regarded as handsome and desirable. And I'm regarded as plain looking. Shouldn't they take a better look at me? I mean, come on! What is the definition of beauty anyway? Does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is seen as beautiful by more people is beautiful. But wait, that means I'm plain looking after all. No, that can't be. Possibly can be. Ah! Why? Okay, I'm just gonna enter your house, take that item that I saw. Ooh, cheese. And now we go to the Three Sisters' house. Which is just next door. Oh, Tone, welcome! Wow, pretty sharp kid. Come to collect his reward already. Sorry, can't help you. Shall I give you some candy, dear? Oh, sis. Tone didn't come here for that. Don't be mean. Oh, did you hear that? Here we go again, Makara's got his bad, ha his bad habit of vilifying people. I didn't mean it that way. I... Stop it, both of you. You two are always fighting lately. Makara, you're alive! Angaga! Oh, uh oh. Not this guy again. Makara, I'm really glad you're still with us. I really am. I'm happy too, Angaga. Please, not here. No mushy stuff. Angaga, you tell me. Why Makara? I'm better at everything than Makara, so why not me? Makara, Makara, Makara. Always Makara. Tell me what... Why is that? There are things Makara does better than you, Nagita. So, she's who I want to be with. Okay, fine. Then let me ask you something. What does Makara do better than me exactly? Okay, I'll tell you all. Aha! At last, the secret will be known. It was a year ago. I was stung by a scorpion. This is it. I am finished. A scorpion sting. I will die. What's the matter, Mr. Angaga? Are you alright? Nagita! A scorpion got me. I won't live much longer. I'll call the doctor right away. Stay here. No time. Stay, Nagita. Don't want to die this. Ah, uh, I'll call the doctor. Stay here. Mr. Angaga! Mr. Angaga! Master Angaga, what are you doing here? A scorpion got me. I will die soon. Stay by me for a while, Makara. I won't last much longer. It's my last wish. Stay, Makara, by dying Angaga. Thank you, Makara.
Silly, you're the strongest warrior in the desert. Who'll protect Muskalaka when you're gone? Scorpion's venom. Nothing can be done. I'm dying. Mr. Ungaga! We need you here in Muskalaka. And I need you too. What are you doing? Don't do that, Makara. You'll kill yourself. Stop, Makara! This Muskalaka needs you. And I need you too. Makara sucked the poison from me, and she became infected. Makara was dying and fought for three days. Makara risked her life to save me. If it weren't for Makara, I probably wouldn't be here. Really? So that's what happened. Makara was incredible courage. No one can match it. Not even me. I fell in love with Makara. Hmm. Now I see. So that's why Makara was lying there too when I brought the doctor to you. And Makara probably asked Angaga not to say anything about it, huh? Well, I guess. Makara, I admit it. I could never act, have acted as bravely as you did. You are the one for Angaga. There's really no room for me, me between you two. Sis! Nakita, thank you. Toan, take me with you and we'll beat the, that evil wizard. I understand now that Theo was trying to say. I forgot this. Real strength doesn't come from your fists. It comes from your heart. Theo and Makara helped me remember that. Angaga will try once more to become the strongest warrior. Angaga became an ally! I will be with Makara for just a while. Tone, you go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Oh, there's Theo. Tone, I couldn't help overhearing outside. So Angaga is back to normal. I really wanted Angaga to get back to his old self again. I'm really glad. No, it's okay. I'll say goodbye to Ungago from here. If we talk too much, it may be hard for me to go back to the village. It's the end of my mission here. I'm sure Ungago will be a great help on your quest, Toan. So long! Oops, I almost forgot. To enter the last chamber where the moonship is kept, you need both the Sun Signet, which is kept by Sand Warriors, and the Moon Signet, which it, we Moon People control. I believe that the Sun Signet has been handed down for years to the village chiefs. The problem is, the Moon Signet, which was supposed to be kept by us, Nem, doesn't like little hassle, so he left it with the Sand Warrior, so they could manage the entire temple. Oh, but please don't blame Nem. Managing a tome is hard work. Anyway, both of them are kept by the people of this village. Remember now, you need both signets to enter the last chamber. So, I guess this is all I have to say. Make sure you beat that wimpy genie. Goodbye, Theo. You were very helpful. Also, I want the, those items I saw in that house. I think I see. I know I saw items in here. Mage Slayer. And. I'm gonna go outside so I can explain this. You're all probably wondering why I kept Fruits of Eden and Gourds on me. Well, that's because we have Angaga. So, let's get Angaga's water up. So, one. 
two, three, and four. Along with that, we also have Fruit of Edens, and I'm going to at least up Ungaga's HP by, by at least 20, and then probably give Ruby the other one. Yeah. And let's give this to Ruby then. And Ungaga's weapon! It's a fighting stick! We will go... I will explain Ungaga's fighting style later, but right now we'll just attach a 3 attack and... What else? What have we been dealing with in there? Mage Slayer... I'll just put Endurance because you'll definitely need high Endurance for what Ungaga is. So, next time on Dark Cloud, we'll be going back into the Sun and Moon Temple with Ungaga and see what he can do.